Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Earthsets Project's YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about biomagnification. Biomagnification is formally defined as the process of toxins moving up the food chain in an ecosystem, and it's typically regarded as a bad thing. Now, why should you care about this complicated biological process that occurs deep in the ocean? Well, it ultimately affects you and your health. So, how is this process initiated? I'm sorry to say that it begins with you. Every plastic bottle, bag, and container has the capability to break down eventually, contrary to what most people believe. Not only is this process time-consuming, but the small plastic pieces can be ingested by tiny animals and work their way up the food chain to humans. So let's walk through an example. You head out to a nice lunch by the shore with your friends, getting takeout from a local restaurant. It's a beautiful day with a lovely sea breeze, and your excitement to get back in the water causes you to forget that you didn't throw away your plastic cups, cutlery, and containers in the recycling bin. The breeze sends the remnants of your lunch tumbling down the sand until they land in the water, initiating the first steps of biomagnification. The breakdown process starts with photodegradation, which is when UV waves from sunlight begin weakening the plastic structure, similar to how UV waves damage your skin. Think about that the next time you put on sunscreen. This process, coupled with the rough, salty conditions of the sea, transforms your plastic into microplastics, tiny little fragments of what they once were. And this is when trouble starts. The pieces settle to the sea floor or float alongside their new, same-sized friends, plankton. Plankton are a category of microscopic plants or animals that drift along in the water and are the basis of the oceanic food chain, meaning that they indirectly feed a majority of the fish, crustaceans, and marine mammals that inhabit the ocean. This enables a clam to unintentionally ingest microplastic instead of plankton as they filter feed for nutrients. The plastic has difficulty leaving the digestive system because it's a foreign object, and the concentration of microplastics in the clam increases over time as it continuously filter feeds. Eventually, a hungry sea star approaches, looking for a meal. Unbeknownst to the sea star, it's ingesting not just the clam, but all the microplastic pieces that are in the clam's flesh. As the sea star continues to feast on all the clams in the area, it becomes a living dumping ground for microplastic pieces. The particles continue to move up the food chain as a king crab hunts down starfish to eat. At this point, the microplastic concentration in the crab is exponentially higher than it originally was in the clam. And unfortunately, this is the king crab that you'll be eating when you dine at a five-star restaurant famous for its freshly caught seafood. In fact, Research has suggested that microplastics, potential carcinogens, can be found in 90% of adults in the United States. That's why we must take responsibility and remember to properly dispose of plastic products or consider sustainable plastic alternatives that limit biomagnification's negative effects. Remember, the process not only harms marine flora and fauna, but also your life. Thank you all for watching and we hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more lessons and we'll see you next time.